properties of 3D shapes, prisms, and pyramids. Hello, and welcome to Tutoring Hour. In this video, we'll learn about a few solid shapes and discuss their properties. We live in a three-dimensional world, and our world is filled with endless examples of 3D shapes. We'll first take a look at the prisms. Meet our first solid shape, the rectangular prism. In some countries, a rectangular prism is called a cuboid. A rectangular prism has one, two, three, four, five, and six faces. The lines where two faces meet are called edges. Let's figure out the number of edges in a rectangular prism. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve edges. The point where two edges meet is called a corner or vertex. Let's find out how many vertices there are in a rectangular prism. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight corners or vertices. Let's move on to our next prism, the cube. The six identical faces of the cube make it a special rectangular prism. Let's find out how many edges there are in a cube. It has 12 edges. Let's find out the number of vertices it has. There are eight vertices here. What's next? A triangular prism. It has five faces. A triangular prism has nine edges. There are six vertices or corners. Coming up next is another solid shape, the pentagonal prism. It has seven faces. A pentagonal prism has 15 edges. It has 10 vertices. Pause the video, take a look at the hexagonal and octagonal prisms and write down the number of faces, edges, and vertices in them. A hexagonal prism has eight faces, 18 edges, and 12 vertices. An octagonal prism has 10 faces, 24 edges, and 16 vertices. Give yourself a pat on the back for getting them right. Let's move on to the pyramids. All pyramids have a base and vertex. All its side faces are triangles. Pyramids are named after the shape of their bases. Let's take a look at our first pyramid, the triangular pyramid. It has four faces. It has one triangular base and three triangular side faces. A triangular pyramid has six edges. It has four vertices. Our next pyramid has a square base. No points for guessing its name. It is a square pyramid. A square pyramid has five faces. It has a square base and four triangular side faces. A square pyramid has eight edges. It has five vertices. Up next is the pentagonal pyramid. A pentagonal pyramid has six faces. It has a pentagonal base and five triangular side faces. A pentagonal pyramid has 10 edges. It has six vertices. Let's take a look at the faces, edges, and vertices of the three pyramids. Do you see a pattern? The number of side faces is the same as the number of sides in the base. The total number of faces is the number of sides in the base plus one. The number of edges is twice the number of sides in the base. The number of vertices is the number of sides in the base plus one. Let's use this little trick and quickly fill up the faces, edges, and vertices of the hexagonal pyramid. The base of a hexagonal pyramid is obviously a hexagon. It has six sides and the number of faces is six plus one. So we have seven here. The number of edges is twice the number of sides in the base. So we'll write 12 here. The number of vertices is the number of sides in the base plus one. So we'll write seven here as well. We'll quickly do the same for the heptagonal and octagonal pyramids. A heptagonal pyramid has eight faces, 14 edges, and eight vertices, and an octagonal pyramid has nine faces, 16 edges, and nine vertices. Let's move on to solid shapes with curved surfaces. Here comes the cylinder, our next solid shape. A cylinder has two flat faces and a curved surface. Let's meet our next shape, the cone. A cone has one flat face and one curved surface. It has one vertex. Here comes our last shape, the sphere. How many edges and vertices do you see here? A sphere has no edges or vertices. It has just one curved surface. 
That was quite a lot of information. If you want to put your newfound knowledge to the test, visit www.tutoringhour.com for practice worksheets. Smash the like and subscribe buttons and show us some love. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.